it's a very powerful way of looking at the human mind. The doing mind is what reacts. It's reacting to what I'm saying, thinking about it, saying, oh that's good or that's rubbish. That reaction is called doing. Planning, remembering, figuring out things, initiating action, deciding to walk, figuring out what you're going to do when you leave here and where you're gonna, uh, what you're going to do on the weekend. All that is part of the doing mind. The other part of the mind is just what knows. The passive consciousness, just being aware, feeling the itch on your arm, feeling the coolness of this room, hearing the sound of the traffic in the distance, just knowing. Now, once you know the difference between those two parts of the human mind, it won't take you long to notice that most of your mental energy, 90, over 90% 90 of it, goes into doing stuff, reacting. Which means you've hardly got anything left just to know, to be aware, to feel. Which is why that so many people, they can't even see the stars at night, even when they're up. They can't see, they're just doing too much. They can't feel the wind. They don't know when it rains. They're too busy doing something else. They're not alive. And they're also very, very tired. Doing far too much. Being far too little. But what happens if instead of actually thinking, you just are, just feeling, feeling the wind, feeling the cold, feeling the heat, walking back to the car with your shoes off, feeling the, the stone or the grass under your feet. You feel alive. But not just feeling alive, you are feeding energy into knowing, taking it away from doing so much. And when you put energy back into the passive awareness, knowing, mindfulness, your tiredness starts to go. You wake up because the mental tiredness is the knower with very low energy. Put energy into the awareness and you feel awake.